Today we're going to be installing the battery in the controller, and even though it's 105 degrees in the garage, we are not going to run into any issues. As the heat wave got worse, so did the temperature in the garage. Today it's 110 degrees, but we're still going to finish this project. So I removed the controller, I removed the display, and now it's time to use the mechanically approved heat gun. Thank you, Rudy. If the heat gun doesn't make it obvious enough, I am not a certified mechanic, so that's why I will be leaving a link in the description for you guys to watch the install video so that you guys can do it correctly yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the brand new 72 volt, 42 amp hour battery from Shock Bikes. straighten my tire out a little bit that looks good okay so first of all guys here's the display i don't even know if you guys can see it right now we are in mode one it has up to nine modes but i have mine all the way up to mode five because holy crap <laughs> um it, let's just say that the highest power on here i don't even know oh my god dude the wheel started coming up and i didn't even mean to do it that time thing down all right here we go we got a straight away right here ready let's do it God. okay so it looks like that thing is a little delayed it went from being like 90 and it stuck at 95 for a while and then after that it hit 100 so holy crap dude oh yo i know what to do we're gonna find one of those like little speed guns somewhere oh there's one right there dude <laughs> oh well it just says slow down so that didn't really help out very much <laughs> dang it bro also i don't recommend ever doing this Two hands on the bar is usually, you know, smart. I'm gonna wait till we hit the straightaway. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Sixty-two, bro. Could probably hit sixty-five, maybe even seventy if you're like going downhill. Now, also keep in mind, I have a much, much bigger sprocket on this bike. We added a couple goodies to this thing. I have got a brand new 58 tooth sprocket. This is definitely going to help with a lot more torque rather than the top end speed. Um, so if you have the regular one on, I bet you could even get faster than 62. When it comes to a Suron battery, you guys have got to be careful who you pick. Uh, because this stuff is so new. Just like the Grom stuff a couple years ago, all the parts were new and you didn't know who to trust and what was good. Um, and I came into this game knowing absolutely nothing about these bikes and that's why I had to do my research when it came to a battery company that I wanted to trust. Uh, but one thing you guys will notice about this battery is it says EBMX on it. And Shock Bikes is actually the United States distributor of the EBMX bikes and EBMX is all the way out in Australia. Uh, but I wanted to find a company that was supported by the community. If you're gonna end up spending like an extra $2,000, it's so important to make sure that you guys are going with the right company. But that's exactly why I chose Shock Bikes. They have a very easy video to follow to install this thing. Absolutely everything is plug and play. They make it super easy for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, you just reach out to them. They will be happy to answer any of those questions that you have. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out. You guys can also use the code GBEAR, um, and that will not only get you a percentage off of the battery, but you guys will also be backed by a trusted brand that I truly believe in. And again, guys, that is one of the biggest things uh, when it comes to these new parts for these new brands. For right now, I just want to not only get my reaction on this thing, but just see what it can do. Look at this kid. 
What up, bro? <laughs> you coming along? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> also, because I have the upgraded battery, I'm going to be using a lot more of the brakes. So I end up getting a Warp 9 rotor for the back, along with the Mergura brakes that you guys have seen for a while now. Uh, but this thing is starting to become a beast, man. The only thing I'm missing is <laughs> a headlight. <laughs> <laughs> With the old battery, I'm not keeping that up at all. Woo! That is a fast wheelie though, dude. Holy I'm really liking level two. I like that it has a lot more power, but it's also not just like stupid crazy. <laughs> Went a little far back there. Thank you, Brake, for saving my ass. Hey, that guy gave me a thumbs up. Probably would have been a thumbs down had I looped there. When it comes to testing out the range for this thing, it'd be crazy to go from like Austin to Dallas um, to see if we could make it on an e-bike, maybe even further than that, bro. The series could go on and on, but um, I think that would be a really, really fun series to do. And if it's something you guys want to see, let me know down below and we could potentially make that happen. Woo! <laughs> Almost slid out there, bro. Here's that bridge Rudy is terrified of. Uh, by the way guys, I gotta thank my boy Cole at Volta. You guys know Cole, he's in a lot of the videos now, but um, he decided to help me wrap the brand new battery as well so that we can make the bike looking fresh still. Gotta love the graphics, they look so good, bro. These are so much easier to do now that I have the power. <laughs> Look at this little park. Well, didn't make that turn. <laughs> but can we wheelie around it? All right, first attempt. Okay, geez, that was worse than the last one. <laughs> I feel like my attempts are just getting worse. First try. Yo, this is a cool little spot. I'm so hot right now. It sounds so good to just jump in that oh, I didn't even notice that the whole time. This is about to be the best. Oh, that is so satisfying. And yo, the best thing about the Suron is none of these houses even know I'm back here. <laughs> How's it going, sir? <laughs> Man, I love this bike, bro. This is the best thing I've ever bought in my entire life. It is time for my personal thoughts on this battery. First of all, it is literally what I was looking for. I love that the fact that you can adjust the different um, power settings that you want. Uh, there's a much slower mode. This one, no matter how much throttle, it still has some good torque, but no matter how much throttle, you're not gonna lift the wheel off the ground. I like that in case someone new gets on the bike. And then you literally have like ludicrous mode, which is mode five in that the wheel comes off the ground <laughs> with just a little bit of throttle. So you literally have multiple options to choose from. I like to work with companies that I truly believe in. And that is why I am working with shock bikes on this particular build. I want to thank them so much for all of the support, all the help, all they answer all my questions um, and they will do the exact same thing for you guys as well. Hey! <laughs> uh, now we have a lot more testing to do. I'm gonna see just how far I can take this battery in the next video, so that should be a fun one. You already know it has power, you know it has speed, but how far can this baby go? Uh, we will find that out very, very soon. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Lots of dope content coming soon. You guys have no idea how much I was able to plan during my time off. So um, expect a lot of great content coming up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.